guys welcome to another episode of the beautiful you show i am so glad to have you here today i'm going to be doing a haul video um we recently or hawaii recently got a morphe store um so a couple of my friends that i worked with at another makeup store um they went over there and um, opened up that store and I was so excited to go and support them and see what Morphe is about. I've been hearing about Morphe for years. I've never ever tried any of their products. So I was kind of, you know, uh, curious and excited to see what, uh, Morphe was about. I knew they had, um, inexpensive makeup items and inexpensive brushes. And I think that's what they first started out with I want to say they first started out with makeup brushes so I think it's like Morphe brush um, and I'm pretty sure everybody else knows more than I do so I'll share with you some of the things that I got um, let me share with you the palettes I got so uh, the first palette I got is the Jaclyn Hill palette many people know who Jaclyn Hill is I would say I'm not too fond of Jaclyn Hill, but when I saw this palette, um, I was really excited and I have used it. I've used it every single day since I got it. I'm wearing it on my eyes now. Uh, this is how the palette comes. It's been well used and that's what it looks like. It has a plastic covering. There's no uh, names on the covering. The names are all on the back as you can see um, I want to say that this is a pretty comprehensive cohesive palette I love that you have tons of mattes tons of shimmers tons of satins you can do any eye look um, the only thing I would say is lacking is the transition colors for like the bluish uh, green purple type of colors but everything else is really beautiful I must say that um, at first I was kind of disappointed with the quality of the palette and that's because I'm so used to using high-end makeup where not only do they have the pigmentation but they have the quality of the eyeshadows or whatever product you're using from them but if you think about the price um, the price point for this palette. So this was the most expensive thing that I bought. It was $38 and it comes with, let me count real quick. 35 colors. You know, that is a lot of colors. Most of the colors, unless you're not into like greens or purples, all, I wouldn't say most, I would say almost all of the colors are very usable for any skin tone very flattering and so when you take that into account um the price point and then the color range the cohesiveness as a palette of the palette it's a pretty good deal um like i said before i wouldn't see the quality as 100 but again taking everything into account uh, now the second palette that I got and to be honest it really wasn't for me my daughter saw this and she really wanted it um, it is the James Charles mini palette and what I didn't know and what she didn't know is that they had just released it like a couple days before we went in so this is how it looks this is the James Charles mini palette and it comes with this with the names on it so the covering so it looks like this when you open it and it comes with a mirror um, and that's how it looks we've since watched a review on this and so he told us you know why he decided to do a mini palette versus a whole new palette and the things that he put uh, he wanted this to be portable he put a mirror on this and so um, that is he he also said that he loved every single color and he had put his heart and soul into the original palette um and he didn't want to dissuade his followers and you know and saying like actually i love another palette so 
he did this um, with the feedback from his followers. So this one was, this one was $26. And let me count how many. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, 40. And then you have the mid range over here that's slightly bigger than the rest, but it's a very, um, very inclusive palette. That's the best way to say it. Um, it has all the colors in the rainbow. Um, so my daughter loves this palette. And then I picked up a couple of their brushes. And like I said, I've been using the palette every single day, the Jaclyn Hill. And I've been using these brushes every single day. So I got the Morphe R38. This one was... R38 was $7. I got the Morphe... M504, 504 was eight dollars. So this one, it's a bigger blending brush. You can see it there. I don't know if you saw this brush. And then I know these two look alike, but this one is actually bigger. Um, and this one is the Morphe R40. So I got this also. I really have been enjoying the brushes. Um, you can't tell the difference between this and say a Mac brush or a Sigma brush. The brushes perform really well. Um, so yeah, I really have been enjoying it. It's going to be hard to buy different makeup brushes after trying these. Because I would rather just go there. Like for the price of these. These three is the price of a brush somewhere else. Or like a high-end market. I got just a couple more things. Um, I came in this box. So I got the House of Lashes Lash Glue. And it looks like this and I used it yesterday and it works pretty good. I've been hearing good things about it. And then I got um, a Morphe sharpener. You can never have too many sharpeners if you use eye pencils. Uh, let's see. Total, my bill with tax came out to 102 But if you think about all the things that I got, that was pretty inexpensive compared to other makeup lines. Um, I'm really happy with the things that I got. Sorry, there's construction going on out there and at my neighbors and they don't pause because I'm filming, filming a video. But thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Let me know. Oh, and I forgot to say that um, Saturday they had their opening, their grand opening. And Bretman Rock opened the store. And he is huge in the makeup world. Um, he's kind of more than just a local celebrity. I feel like he's bigger than just a local celebrity. But my daughters got to meet them and I got to meet him, got to meet his sister and his little niece. So I'll include the pictures at the end of the video. But he was just so friendly, so open. And you could tell he was so excited to be there as told by or relayed to me from my daughters. I wasn't able to be there at the grand opening. I had to work, but it was so nice to see the excitement on my daughter's faces. They were so happy um, and they really enjoyed meeting him. But thank you again for joining me. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments and I'll see you next time.